distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. A great morning to all of you and a warm welcome to the launch of the Digital Design and Creative Coding Hub. We are very proud to be one of the partners of the Digital Design and Creative Coding Hub in Ghana. With the Hub, we want to empower kids and students to create their own worlds by learning and using digital technologies. Our visual 3D design tool can even be used by kids in elementary school age and allows them to create their own things and figures with 3D printing. By using a wide variety of geometric shapes, pre-designed templates and plug-in connectors, the design process is super easy. And we're really delighted that the Digital Design and Creative Coding Hub was chosen as one of the successful proposals and that we are now here to, to celebrate the official opening. The project acts from our perspective as a unifier between creatives from both Germany and Ghana and builds a platform for cooperation and the exchange of experiences and knowledge. We at CODED have one goal. We want to give every child the opportunity to learn programming. That's why we created an online learning platform where kids can learn coding in an easy and fun way. I'm looking forward to see all the new projects that will be created in the Hub, and I hope I see you there. I've already been introduced. My unit deals with exciting topics for the future. We want to promote innovation and added value. Our approach is innovation-based regional development. We actively cooperate within our state and with international partners. The European Union and the Committee of the Regions are some of the issues and tasks we deal with. IIPGH has been a major partner of the project and has uh, really been super supportive. Wide network into the business world. It's important for us to not just develop skills of the young ones, but to bring them into the contact with the actual with the economy with those who are with the business world with those who are doing the things knowledge is good but skills are actually better knowledge is static skills are dynamic so let me say congratulations to all the team i'm looking to working very closely with this team and all our strategic partners um, and to work with government to make ict accessible i look forward to having more exposure uh, transfer of knowledge from Germany and other places and to ensure that we have rich experience in technical and vocational skills development of which ICT is an enabler. So ladies and gentlemen, on this note, I hereby declare the Digital Design and Creative Coding Hub duly launched. Thank you very much. This project was launched in May 2021. We had two months online training for the applicants or tutors who then became the ambassadors, going out there to schools and online to teach kids about this new programming language called Codex and Tinker Toys. We began with uh, a workshop which started in February. They introduced us to the Codex platform. And then Tinker Toys. So it was a training where we, a group of tutors were trained and we got these skills. So we had the opportunity to also train other uh, tutors. So after that, we also have to impart the same knowledge to the kids. Let's go down and there is a maker space. What's a maker space? Maker space is a place where you can build something. Very good. In the images and animation, mostly you get to draw things with shapes and um, lines. Do you get what I mean? So what the backdrop we are going to create is going to be a backdrop with two triangles and a rectangle and then a text. My dad runs the coding. I got to know about coding through my father. I got to know about the student coding class from my brother. 
he was attending one of the classes. My mother started checking through some Zoom classes, then she found the code in there. Now, when you're about to run your code, you first have to click on the button here, start, which shows how your game will go about on the stage. Is that okay? All right, so let me try one before we continue. Do you all see the duck? Okay, so this course here helps to move our duck. Is that okay? Then this side says, on key down, chain direction. What does it mean? It means that we are pressing the A key for a long time. Then when we let it go, the duck will change its direction. Good, thank you. So once a month, we meet at the hub here and we have a student's activity day. It's all about introducing the kids to what is possible using technology, printing out certain things that they might have designed online that are used in our everyday activities. I am seeing children um, thinking critically about issues, being creative and being innovative. And that is what we want our children to be doing. They always want to try something. And so they have the opportunity to get to know that the codex and the Tinker Toys in itself is something that incites excitement. With Tinker Toys and Codex, it's just simple, putting simple blocks together to create one program you can use out of imagination. For example, you have a deck, you have the screen, put the blocks together and tell it what to do. It's as simple as that. We know, we ha how did we get this shape? We use the cylinder. Okay, so she's saying we use the cylinder. So there is a cylinder inside of 3D, uh, the Tinker Toys. And how did we get the hole inside it? We duplicated it and put it inside. So, and then we cut it. Okay. Just as we've been doing these online stuff, we passing them through online. We give them the opportunity to also come to the creative uh, coding hub and they get to print what they've been able to do and also design things with it. So, um, just back to the Agus coding class, for instance, they had a 3D class and then they actually came back to the hub to be able to print it. In June, there was another 3D class which actually designed, there were students who designed a computer set and there were students who designed bottle openers and they came to the hub and printed it. We had a series of monthly sessions to have children come in the hub to have an experience of the 3D design and have a practical experience of what digital design is all about and to unearth their creativity. We tested this program in a number of communities and we have observed that students without even knowledge of coding can be introduced to this and through the coding process they are able to exhibit some level of creativity. And why coding? Because these are the required employable skills for the 21st century. I went to the first few classes and I found it very interesting, so I continued. I've started for almost 17 weeks and so far I have learned 3D shapes, how to make pictures on the Tinker Toys. I learned that 3D printers can print anything you want. Learned about Tinker Toys, coding, canvas. I have learned how to use coded. And today I've also learned how to use Tinker Toys. So I started designing a cap, a love emoji, a face, a smile and energy. The experience with the kids have been amazing. I would say very amazing. There's been a nice um, process. An interesting journey and I'm glad to be part of it. When children see their program start running, they get excited and want to do more. It has broadened their minds and it has helped them to develop um, problem solving skills. And we realized that from the platforms like Code It, they're able to design things, they're able to design games, animations, and from Tinker Toys, they're able to design objects and a whole lot of things that they're able to print them as well. There's no activity that doesn't have its challenges. And some challenges that we've had include 
internet connectivity, which is our main challenge. We wish some of the programs like the Code to be an offline one so that uh, we can go to remote places or places where they have challenges with internet. Also, the availability of um, laptops so that we can accommodate more kids. Parents sometimes do buy mobile phones and tablets, but some of these platforms work very well if they are with the laptops or computers. It is so much joy to see the children experiencing what coding is all about. We believe in an early start, so it is more than important for us to get children involved in learning digital skills so we can all build the digital economy that we are envisaging. We want to use this opportunity to thank our donors, uh, Foreign Office of the Federal Republic of Germany, and our partners. Coordinating Catoys for giving us this opportunity to be able to transfer knowledge in this new area of programming language to kids. We are looking forward to working with other partners to extend this program to other places, bring in more tools, and also basically have a road show where we can exhibit the, the skill development program across.